This is part two of our video on arithmetic series. In the first part, we looked at the two possible formulas you can use. One of them is the formula Sn. So we said a series is when you do the sum of all the terms, you add them all together, so we use S for sum, is n divided by two, so half the number of terms times t1 plus t2, sorry, t1 plus tn. So first term plus last term, and then times half the number of terms. The other formula that we can use is Sn equals n divided by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And that's just the formula written using the same letters as the ones we use for an arithmetic sequence. So with the questions we're about to do, we're going to talk about how do you know when to use each formula um, and why I'd want to use one or the other. So the first question here says, determine the sum of the terms in the series. Oh, no. Yeah, it should say in the series, where the first term is T1 equals 20, and the last term is T14 equals 802. So in this question, I know term 1 is 20, and I know term 14 is 802 and I know that this is the first term and this is the last term. So if I have the first and the last term, the easiest formula is to use this one. So if I have the first term and I have the last term and hopefully I know how many terms I have, I will use this formula. Now if I don't have the first and last term, that tends to be when I use that formula. So here I'm going to start by writing down the formula. So Sn, the sum of the terms, is n over 2 times t1 plus tn. And I'm going to list s, n, and then I've got t1 and tn. Okay, I know term 1 is 20, so that's my term 1 is 20. And I know term 14 is 802, so I'm going to put that in for my tn, my last term is 802. But in order to find the sum, I need to know the number of terms. If term 14 is the last term, then there must be 14 terms in the sequence. So I'm going to put a 14 here, right? Because if the last term is 14th term, then there's 14 terms in the sequence or the series. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is just substitute all my numbers in. So S, I don't know. I can say it's the sum of the first 14 is 14 divided by 2 times term 1, which is 20, plus term 2, which is 802. Now I'm going to use bed mass and do my brackets first. Although I can do a little dividing here outside. So 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 20 plus 802 is 822. And then 822 times 7 is 5,754. So the sum of the first 14 terms is 5,754. Now if I take a look at the second question, this one says, determine the sum of the first 25 terms in the series, 100 plus 90 plus 80 plus 70. So one of the things that I guess we should talk about is how do you know the difference between a sequence question and a series question? A series question is going to have addition signs instead of commas, and it also mentions the word sum, which tells me that I'm going to be adding together all of my digits. Okay, so here, um, one of the things you do need to do is look at your sequence and try to figure out whether you think it's arithmetic or geometric. So I do notice that I am subtracting 10 each time here, which tells me that it's arithmetic since I have a common difference of negative 10. If I was multiplying or dividing by the same number every time, that would make it geometric. So in the previous question, um, it should have stated in the question, what it was and he, I, we took for granted that it was arithmetic because of the type of question the sheet says we're doing arithmetics. 
So what I'm going to do here is we're going to write down our formula for the sum. Now for this one, I know the first term, but I do not know the last term. So I am going to leave that part off um, and I'm going to use the other formula. So Sn equals n over two times two a plus n minus one times d. So since I don't know the last term, I'm not going to use Gauss's formula, I'm going to use this formula. So it does not tell me what the sum is, <laughs> but it does tell me that there are 25 terms. So my n should be 25. I know that the first term is 100. That's always the easy part to pick out. And my d, my common difference, is negative 10 because we are subtracting 10 each time. So I'm going to substitute all of those things into the formula. So Sn, I could re just leave it as an S. I could put a 25 to say that it's the sum of the first 25 terms. Is n, so 25 divided by 2 times 2 times a, so the first term is 100, plus and then n is 25 minus 1 times d, which is negative 10. So order of operations, our bed mass rules said you need to do your brackets first. So I've got the sum of the first 25 terms. This does not divide evenly, so I'm going to save it and just do it at the end. Uh, 2 times 100 is 200. 25 times... Sorry, I would take away 1 is 24. I could show a separate step where I do the 24. I'd rather just get that over with and multiply it here. So 24 times negative 10 is negative 240. So this is going to be subtract 240. Now, still need to finish the bracket. 200 take away 240 is negative 40. don't know why I put that equal sign there. And then all I need to do is I'm going to do this last part on my calculator. So I'm going to do 25, where did it go? There we go. Oops, maybe this way. 25 divided by 2 times negative 40. And I get negative 500. Now that does seem a little bit strange because these numbers are positive. Why I would end up with a negative sum? But if you think about it, the numbers are getting smaller every time. Um, and I would count down 100, 90, 80, 70, and it would only take me about 10 steps until I start getting negative numbers. And I am adding together the first 25 numbers. So there are going to be 15 negative numbers that we're adding onto this. So that is why we did end up with a negative 500 there. But it's always a good idea to stop and think about whether or not you think that answer is reasonable. So our last one is we want to determine the sum of the terms in the series, 5 plus 16 plus 17, all the way up to 643. So first thing you should always do is try to figure out your pattern. So is it arithmetic? Is it geometric? So to get from 5 to 16, if I do 16 take away 5, that is 11. And... I believe that's supposed to be a 27. I will have to make sure that's fixed on your sheet. 27 take away 16 is also 11. So I see that this has a common difference of 11, so I'm going to say that this is arithmetic. And since I have plus signs in between all of the terms, and it mentions the word sum in the question, I know that this is going to be a series and not a sequence. So I know that we're going to use the formula. Um, now, between the two formulas, I do know the first term and I do know the last term. So this would actually be a good place for me to use Gauss's formula. You're welcome to use either one. They both work. But I am going to try that one instead. So I'm going to do Sn equals n over 2 times t1 plus tn. But you could use the other formula. It's all the same. It works out. And I'm going to list S, N, T1, Tn. 
So I know term one is five, and I know that term n is 643, but I have a little problem here. I want to find the sum, that's what I'm supposed to find in the question, but I don't know how many terms there are. And even if I tried to use the other formula, I still wouldn't know how many terms there are. So there has to be a way built into the question for me to figure out how many terms there are. And the key to doing that is actually that last number. That last number is Tn, right? That's why we said Tn is 643. I have a formula for arithmetic sequences on how you can figure out Tn, and that's the formula Tn equals A plus N minus 1 times D. Now, in this series, I do know that my last term Tn is 643, so I could put 643 in here. Okay, I know the first term A is 5. I don't know what N is. And I know that my common difference is 11. So I can use this formula to calculate what term number it is, and then use that term number to tell me how many terms there are, and then I can calculate the sum. So I cannot do this question without finding N and the easiest way to do this is to use my TN formula that we had for sequences and then just substitute all our values in. So I am going to multiply the 11 into the bracket. So I get 11N take away 11. And then I will collect up the like terms. So I've got 11N and then 5 take away 11 is negative 6. And then from here, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Do it grade 9 style here. So 643 plus 6 is 649. And then I will use my calculator for that. So 649 divided by 11 is 59, which tells me that that is the 59th term. So there are 59 terms in the sequence or the series. So what I'm going to do is then substitute everything in and calculate what my sum is of the first 59 terms. So I do 59 divided by 2 times term 1 which is 5 and 643 which is my last term. So I'm going to add the bracket first Leave that 59 over 2, it doesn't divide nicely. Well, it just gives me a decimal. So 643 plus 5 is 648. And then on my calculator, I'm going to take 59 divided by 2 times 648, which is 19,116. So the sum of the first 59 terms is 19,116. So before you're finished, what you need to do is the check your understanding page to make sure you know how to do those questions. You need to make sure you finish that before you come to class. And the problem solving page we will do together as a group. Have fun!